Hello. I really don't want to do this, but God has put it on my heart to do so. I'm 28 years old, and I live in Texas. I have been on Reddit before, mainly in horror movie talk and not safe for work sections. I used to be into the occult and believed in a higher power rather than God. Even though I was raised to believe in God, I hated him because I identified as female and I was told I was going to hell. I had an encounter with God at the starting of the pandemic when I started having heart palpitations. When I went to lie down, I felt like I was dying. Naturally, I started praying and asking God for more time. I watched my life and memories play through the back of my eyelids backwards to my time in the womb. I then see a white tunnel with angels surrounding it and I was suddenly in a room with a floor made of crystal. There was a figure sitting on a white throne and he had a rainbow above his head. I couldn't see his face because it was made of a piercing light. I stood there crying while holding someone's hand. Mind you, this person, I couldn't see them. I then was led to what felt like a cliff and I found myself falling. I could see fire on the other side of my eyelids. When I opened my eyes, I seen a figure standing over me lined in gold glitter and he was wearing armor and had wings. I know that I was being put into my own body. I know for a fact that I died. After that, I backslid and was being a dummy not letting the sin die in me. Soon after, I ended up in jail for seven months and I would seek God and pray for my release. That was the first time I read the Gospels for myself, so I was so in faith because I was in a bind. That's what most people do is pray when they need something. That's what I did, but God didn't fail me. I got time served. Still, my sin was not satisfied. But God had another plan. He always does. So after I got home, the Lord blessed me again with money to take care of my needs. A decent sum of money. I got my first car and my rent was paid in full. I continued to dabble in sin and not do right by my word to God, so the demonic attacks started happening. I started to see dark ink-like shadows on walls and in corners. I started hearing chanting in my head and what sounded like sirens going off in my head. I started hearing voices and even one time while I was sleeping, I felt a demon get into my back seat and touch my neck with its claws while telling me it was waiting for me in the dark. So, it was probably around September of 2021 and the attacks had stopped after I had deliverance done. So while joking with my roommates, I said in passing that, God, if you're there, I want you to show me hell. You never joke with God, because that is exactly what he did. That night, I decided to go to bed and I said my prayers and fell asleep instantly. I then found myself falling through the sky into a giant hole. It looked like a mouth, a giant monster mouth. It was extremely dark, darker than even nighttime, and the darkness had a life of its own. In the hole was a ledge, round the rim of it with a pointed edge kind of like a diving board or a cliff. A voice instructed me to go closer, so I walked out to the ledge and the voice told me to keep walking. Every step I took, there was a cloud under my feet, preventing my fall. The clouds went down to make stairs further and further down. After about 20 or so clouds, I was standing on a big one. The darkness wouldn't allow me to see forward, but the clouds provided a light from within. I decided to look down, and it was fire. A lake of fire. And I knew exactly where I was. So I turned to leave, since I was so scared, more terrified than I have ever been. Before it was like even being afraid of the dark as a kid times a billion. It was like a veil got taken from my eyes as soon as the fear took over. Suddenly, I felt the heat and the cloud that was holding me up disappeared. I was falling toward the flames until I said, Jesus, no. Then another cloud appeared underneath me just feet from the flames. At that point, I then heard the screams and I woke up. When I woke up, I was so terrified I couldn't go back to sleep. I looked at the reflection of my TV screen and seen dark figures charging at me, but they were deflected by the light in my room. When I looked closely, 
the reflection of the light bulb made a cross on the TV screen, a rainbow cross. I believe I saw the lake of fire before and after the final judgment. Before there was nobody in it, but it still was terrifying that after I fell closer I could hear the voices of people I know yelling at me and cursing at me. It literally sounded like weeping and gnashing of teeth. Hell is real. Hell is not a party or a vaccine. Hell is real. More real than this life will be. Stay prayed up. Trust in Jesus. He is the only way.